Hello friends, uh, today we are going to discuss um, about how do you create uh, a Google account, you know, Google advertisement account. Now, if you haven't uh, come across Google, I will be very surprised because, um, you know, Google um, not uh, long ago started as a company. Now, Google is uh, in the Webster's Dictionary. Uh, Merriam-Webster's Dictionary is, is Google is uh, now a verb. So that means uh, if you want to search anything online on a Google platform or google.com or in a, a Google Chrome browser, if you're searching any information, that's called the Googling. Okay, so that means Google has been used as a verb. So that means that shows how popular is uh, Google. So now um, advertisement in Google. Okay, so if you are in a business, uh, if you are a creator, you are you create content, and uh, you know you you are an influencer or you have products or services you want to sell, then um, definitely Google um, is a, a wonderful, a fantastic platform uh, where you can take leverage um, and uh, you know you can advertise your products and services there. Okay. So um, now currently there are two, you can say two biggest platforms, uh, you know, where you can advertise. One is Google, another is Facebook. That means uh, when you're talking about Google, we're talking about uh, Google and uh, YouTube. And we are talking about Facebook, we're talking about Facebook um, and Instagram and WhatsApp as well, because uh, Facebook is also trying to promote uh, WhatsApp in, in, you know, in uh, different uh, ways so that um, people can even reach out to you on your um, you know, WhatsApp, that app itself, and they can connect with you. If you are an influencer, if you, if you are a content creator, so that's, that's a good platform as well. So that means these are two major, that doesn't mean that there are not other platforms out there. As a matter of fact, TikTok um, you know, grew, I think uh, in the last uh, year in 2021, TikTok became the, a largest, uh, you know, downloaded uh, app uh, from on the App Store. Okay, so that means that is that is uh, big as well. The this this is a Chinese, uh, you know, multi-billion-dollar company. So TikTok is also popular, and other platforms like um, you know Twitter is there. So there are so many platforms, uh, LinkedIn platforms. But I. Pretty much, um, you know, I would suggest, uh, you know, uh, or where I advertise is uh, on Google and on Facebook. Okay, so now let's uh, quickly uh, understand uh, why to advertise on uh, uh, Google real quick. So these are certain reasons. Okay, so first is um, let's try to understand this uh, search volume. Okay. So Google um, so search is uh, more than two trillion dollar searches per year. Okay, so, okay, that is that is huge. You know, that kind of a searches uh, you know Google handles on an annual basis. So, so that means whatever you want to to sell, now there are people out there who are searching for that information or searching for that product or services. Okay. And that is where you can uh, put your products and then you can sell those uh, your products as well. Second thing is, which is quite big is uh, you know YouTube. So that means uh, Google owns YouTube, okay? And if you do not know already, YouTube is the uh, world's biggest uh, video platform or video hosted, you know. Um, video hosting platform where uh, you know you can put up your own video absolutely free okay now not only it hosts uh, other people's videos but it is uh, one of the the biggest uh, video search engine as well so that means people look for information about how to do certain things and all they go to go to youtube and also you must have seen that in, uh, in Google uh, search, if you are searching anything on Google, you also will see that um, uh, YouTube's uh, videos also pop up in Google search as well. Okay, why is that? Because you know it's one and the same company. 
Now the third thing, um, sorry, um, uh, yeah, the third thing uh, why you should uh, look into Google as well is um, they allow you to have uh, three different uh, bidding strategies, okay? To put your ad out there. What, what do you mean by bidding strategies, okay? All the search engines, they, they have a concept called bidding, okay? So bidding means, uh, uh, as, as the name says, uh, you know, like this is an auction, this is a bidding. So because there are so many people out there, okay, um, and, uh, you know, who are, who are, want to uh, market their products or services, Google has to have an algorithm. So they have to have a logic of how they would show your um, your advertisement or uh, as opposed to somebody else's advertisement okay so that is where the bidding uh, comes in so it's it's a complex logic they have put in uh, together but in in very simple terms so bidding primarily it is based on the keyword okay so um, if it's a long term uh, keyword for example if you say obesity okay you will see millions of websites and but if you say how to get rid of obesity uh, that is uh, you know again it's a bit specific keywords and then you can go further down uh, how to to get rid of obesity um, in uh, in us um, amongst uh, you know women above 40 so that is because that becomes very very specific which is called a long term or long tailed keyword okay so that is keyword okay so now there are different bidding strategies as you can see here pay per click which is quite popular pay per click means uh, you know for website visiting so if somebody uh, you want to take uh, somebody um, to your uh, your website uh, you know uh, so you must have seen, um, you know, the Facebook, um, sorry, the Google advertisement where, where you will uh, see as you uh, you search any any keyword you put in there, um, there will there will be multiple sort of um, search results. Okay, and um, those search results are. Let me just show you as well so that uh, you can see. Um, so. Um, let's take for an example uh, let me just share the screen so that i can show you here okay so i were this is google and i want to search for google search engine i want to search for let's say um okay how to how to make pancakes let's take an example okay so this is this is, uh, you know, I just clicked on uh, how to make pancakes. Now you can see these are the results. Okay, that's uh, millions of uh, search results. Okay, now you can see there are recipes. Okay, so now Google keeps changing the way they present, and you know, they try to make it more presentable, more sort of user friendly, so that you know people people can uh, see or get what they are looking for right away instantly, okay? Now, if you see, they have, you know, one here, okay? Now, if you see an ad uh, like, uh, you know, it has uh, uh, written here, that means that's an advertisement, no, but without that, you see that this is an organic, they call it organic or search engine optimized uh, posting. The search engine is Google, Google optimized posting. That means they have, you know, this bbcgoodfood.com, this website has um, created the content or this post in such a way that it is ranking on top, okay? Even though they haven't paid anything to Google, this is organic. Now, if you see there are recipes as well, you know, they are, you know, you can uh, click on more, there will be more recipes here, okay? So now, uh, okay, now you see here, uh, people also ask, okay, so these are the questions, how to, how do you, how, so these are the questions people asked uh, based on how to make pancakes, relevant to that is how do you make pancakes with three steps, so these are certain steps. Now you can see these are the videos, now you can see here it's YouTube video, okay, that is what we are talking about before, that, um, you know, when you search something in here, so 
even YouTube shows up there as well. So now if I could, uh, you know, there are organic uh, searches and there are some ad, ad as well, Google ad as they say. Now I don't see any ads here. These are all organic. Okay, so that is that is really good. So that means uh, you know you can rate something uh, free as well. You can uh, you can get this uh, uh, you know or put up there free. But let's take for an example. I am looking for jacket. Now these are something buying buying intention. When there is a buying intention, if you see there are ads. People want to put up uh, things there. Um, Okay, there are ads here. Now you can see this. These are the you know different uh, different companies like uh, Lyst, uh, Jotner, you know Man Manclair. Okay, so these are different companies who have put their ads up there. Okay, so that is called Google um, Google Shopping or Google Ads there. Now, again, there are other entries as well, which are again organic, organic ways, you know, Google uh, shows, okay, there are search, in, search engine pages. So that means that is organic uh, SEO based, um, you know, um, uh, displays or SEO based search results. And there are as well uh, ad where people pay the money. Now you can see here, these are all ad, ad, ad. So that means these are the people who paid money. So what happens here is let's take an example. If I click in here, I go to a Stitch Fix. Okay, Stitch Fix, so this is a website. I clicked, I went there. So what happens here is uh, this is a pay per click. Okay, so that means that um, you know, whoever has uh, you know this company, uh, you know, just because I click there, uh, so the company would be paying some money, okay, to uh, to Google, okay. So that is where the paper paper click. Uh, that's how it it works, okay. But because they make a lot of money, that's why they're advertising, okay. So that's how the paper um, click, uh, you know, works. Now uh, let's. Uh, get into let's understand now how do you create you know uh, the what before that uh, another couple of points uh, i just uh, forgot to share with you okay now we discussed about uh, pay per click there is another call um, uh, bidding strategy called cost per thousand impression okay what is cost per thousand impression is when uh, you know you are just showing your ad okay so these are impressions where uh, you know you you attract or you are spreading the brand awareness that's another strategy as well you can go for okay just just by showing it okay um, your ad will be shown to people for, for, for thousand impressions now next is cost for action okay cost for action is uh, when you know people want to buy anything, anything okay so that means that this is a user it's very popular for buying those just like the way we saw before that uh, you know we saw some advertisements where you know the jacket you know if you click on um, you know the uh, displayed uh, jacket uh, picture you go to their website it could either be pay per click or cost per action bidding as well cost per actions mean if somebody buys it okay then uh, you know you you make uh, money out of it Okay, so you make money means I'm talking about the Google makes money out of it. That means Google charges, um, you know, people based on the click. Okay, that's the action. So, so click and action. Okay, these are two different strategies. By uh, one, if, if uh, with the pay per click strategy, if somebody doesn't buy even, you have to pay. Okay, and cost per action wise. You know, it is more targeted where somebody buys, you can also set up or somebody visits your website or certain pays, uh, you know, Google charges you, that's also possible. Next is allow specific targeting. That is a big thing on Google advertisement as well. That is also there in Facebook advertisement. Um, so what is, the, what is the specific targeting? So that means you can target, uh, you know, the, your advertisement to be shown to people um, based uh, in a specific country or uh, you know your uh, could be shown to only ladies or could show to guys or any 
any, you know, any, any sex. And also it could be shown to a specific age group as well. Okay, so age, gender, location, and also, as we discussed earlier, keyword, somebody is looking for certain information, that keyword, so that can be searched as well. Okay, so that is specific targeting. So that means, uh, uh, you know, you are not wasting your money there. Okay, so you are specific, somebody you are, you are, who is your target, your ad will be displayed to that person. Um, or if that person takes any action, then you will be uh, charged by Google. The last but not the least is uh, set your own budget. What does that mean? So that means uh, you can, gone are the days where um, you know people or uh, companies used to pay a lot of money for uh, let's say you know TV advertisement for uh, billboards, uh, you know for uh, um, advertisement on newspapers. Okay, so now with uh, you know the Google ads or even Facebook ad or any sort of website uh, based uh, you know these ads, you can even set a target of spending let's say ten dollars a day, okay, and uh, you know you can uh, you can become highly profitable as well based on uh, based on you know your uh, um, obviously it uh, depends on your marketing strategies, but you can spend as low as that. Okay, even uh, you can have an advertisement for five, uh, $5 as well. Okay, so earlier that used to be big companies who can, could afford to advertise, but now even small companies or small uh, individuals, you know, um, even the st startup companies or individuals or creators could also advertise. Okay, so now let's... Um, uh, let's uh, now discuss and I'll share the screen and we'll go step by step. We'll create a website and, uh, sorry, we will create a, a Google account. I'll show you how to do that, okay? So first, what we are going to do is, um, uh, you know, I will go to the, uh, so I'll show you step by step. I will go to the creating the account Google ads uh, page and uh, we'll, uh, I'll show you how to go step by step creating Google account. Okay, so let's, let me go and share this. Okay, so now here you could just Google it on Google, you know, search engine, um, create Google ad account. Okay, so that means the URL is ads.google.com, but you know, if you are not, can't be bothered, so you can just go to create Google ad accounts and you will, it will directly take you there. Okay, so now if you see here, I am in um, the Google, got it, okay. So I'm on the space where it says that grow your business with Google ads, okay. So now you click on start now, okay. So now it's asking that uh, enter, you know, your uh, email address, okay. Now you can, you know, create, again, it, uh, it accepts Google, uh, sorry, Gmail account as well or other account as well. So that means doesn't have to be G Gmail as far as I know. So, but what I'm going to do now, I would also even suggest you to create a specific, uh, you know, different account than what, uh, you know, you have been using for other uh, purposes uh, or the Gmail account. Okay, so exclusively for advertisement, I would suggest to create one. Why just to mix, uh, not to mix it up with uh, two and, uh, you know, you can keep your uh, business uh, kind of a separate, okay? So I'll create an account. So it's asking me for, for three options for myself, for my child, or to manage my business. Okay, so wh what exactly I want to do. So I could go for, for myself or I could go for manage my business, okay? So what I am going to do now is because I have an, another business account with Google. So what I'm doing is uh, I could go for manage my business as well. That's not a problem, but um, I would go for, for uh, myself. Okay, for yourself, uh, what you want to choose? Well, uh, you know, you could go for manage my business. It doesn't matter, but I'll, I'll go for this option for myself. Okay, so now uh, it's asking for my first name and last name. So, so I'm just, uh, you know, create one so that's my my you know kind of a uh, short name and uh, email address so which will email address so it's actually you will you will need to confirm this 
email belongs to you okay so but what i want to do is create a new gmail address instead so that's what i am going to do now okay so what is the gmail address now so i will put like um, let's see if um, let's see okay so let me just uh, it will take me some time so i'll pause my uh, video here and let me see if i when i find one um, uh, username then i will let's restart it just uh, give me a minute and uh, okay so i got one sr as a prak you know gmail so i just created my uh, put my password here and then went to next not now so it's asking for welcome and uh, this is optional phone number i'm not putting my phone number there and uh, i don't think uh, birthday is compulsory but let's see it is uh, asking me uh, for my birth date so i will just uh, put uh, something there let's say i will put uh, 1985 uh, 8, uh, 18 15th august okay and uh, i will put mail okay so i just put random and uh, then went to next choose personalization setting uh, you know express personalization i'll go for express so that i can do it real quick and uh, then um, you know so i just have to confirm privacy policy can i agree so just go please go through the all the privacy settings and everything this is just to show you so now you do not have any google ad account would you like to create new one so what i'm doing is i say that okay new google ad account so i just uh, clicked on creating and now it is creating a new google ad account so here you go so we are now uh, in uh, google account uh you know, phase cre uh, creation phase now it's asking that okay which option you want to go what is your advertisement goal so now we are in the process of creating um, an advertisement okay so you see here is that for uh, okay um to get more brand awareness to a video or a visit to physical location okay whatever that is so i usually go for switch to expert mode okay here because uh, that gives me a bit of an option i would suggest you to go for that as well so when you go in there so it's really easy as well uh you know but what happens here in the expert mode as you can see it gives me the those options so um you know do i want to you know you see uh, we discussed about it select the goal that you like a campaign to uh, ca this campaign to be successful so is that the sales you want or leads or website or what is that you want okay so based on that for example you want to uh, generate leads this is the, the one okay let's say traffic so you can choose and uh, uh, you know so what um, what i would suggest as well so you can go for let's say create campaign without goals guidance okay so if you click on here now this this uh, you know this uh, button now you see that it is giving you more options as well so what are the options okay so now you can see uh, where you know the yellow ye yellow bits uh, you know uh, you can see you know here I mean, I take my cursor, you don't see that, but you know, you see that, okay, different advertisement. So that's a video. This is YouTube. Okay. Now you see that on the search engine. So where exactly, you know, your advertisements will be shown. It's all displayed there. Okay. So you can go step by step. You can, if you want to create a YouTube ad, you could do that. And uh, this is for app downloads. Um, you know, 
so you can you can read as well of what is that intention you have okay high intent customer so you go for this one okay uh, one, uh, so usually this is uh, these are kind of a, you know um, uh, this you can see it's not active yet okay you have all these functions uh, you know new accounts have these three is not, are not yet active for new new users so i would suggest that uh, you know you can uh, you know, go for, if you are going for YouTube ad, you can go for this and, you know, other bits as well is there, okay? So, right now, so you can just, let's say you click on here and then, uh, you know, select the results you want to get. So, that means somebody clicks on uh, your ad, does you go to your website visit? If you say yes, put your website details and that's it. So, you can, you can take that person there, okay? So that is as simple as that. You can uh, put your uh, campaign name here, and uh, there you go. You can you can start your campaign. So with that, I am kind of a, we are done here. It's quite uh, straightforward and uh, you know easy. Um, you know how do you create your account? Then you know based on keywords. What are the keywords you want to use for your campaign? And what is the demographics you want to, to target, you can, you know, set it up, you know, after you know, the following, it is a step by step, uh, you know, you can click on one, and then the other steps comes up, then you can go and follow the sequence. Okay. Hope it made sense and it helped you. So with that, I am done. My name is Som, Som Prakash. I am an online digital entrepreneurship coach and a consultant. I help people to set up their own online businesses to become successful online, to have a side hustle and to be an entrepreneur online. Okay, that I'm done and over and out.